Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Unboxing Family 21. Uh, I will be opening Power of the Elements booster box with some blister packs. I have six blister packs on top of that. If y'all were watching my short clips, I made a handful of short clips from blister packs that I bought from the store. Ended up pulling this guy, the Sprite Blue. Very excited about that. Uh, to start off, uh, I'm doing a handful of giveaways uh, with this video. I do want to announce the winner of the giveaway for this uh, is Yugi Dude Frederick. I want to say I said that right. Uh, please message me on Instagram. Uh, it will be in the, the link or shoot me an email, one of the two. But in this video, I'll be doing a giveaway for... Let's start with this. It is the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Dual Academy box. This is the one that I opened up on video, but I am getting uh, two sealed copies of it that I will be sending a brand new sealed Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Dual, Dual Academy box speed duel to somebody. I am also doing a giveaway. I have a handful of these. This is a vintage keychain and pen Exodia. This is a vintage, way back in the day, brand new, still sealed, Exodia. I'll be giving away with that. And I will also be giving away from the Power of the Elements box, four of the cards, and then a play set of Dogmatica, a Salium. I want to say I said that wrong. Uh, they're from, all three are from the MP21 pack as well uh, so that'll be in my giveaway and those three winners whoever the three winners are you will be getting extra cards with those two as well um, be randomly picked but let's get right into this I'm going to open these blisters first and save the box for last I did get a new stand so so far, I like this stand. I don't think it's going to break on me. We got a Rika Konkon. Pretty sweet. Put the hollows to the side. And remember, the only thing you have to do to enter these giveaways is like, comment, and be a subscriber to the channel. Uh, Exo Sister. You can make so many good decks with the cards in this set. Some of these cards we really needed. We have a Punk Jam Extreme Session. We have three more blisters left. Soma, Gadget Gamer. We have a Melfi Staring Contest. Come on, can we pull something epic? Straight gamma. Ooh, and we have an instant contract, instant contact. Sweet. He'll be getting sleeved. Last blister. That would be pretty crazy if it's another Sprite Blue. Oh, and it's an Exo Sister Martha. Holy cow. Man, I am getting so lucky with these blister packs. 
I'm probably going to end up going to the store and getting some more. Man, that is epic. Getting commons mixed up. All right. Time for the booster box. Now, I am going to do something a little different. If y'all if y'all haven't watched Simply Unlucky's uh, unboxing videos, I also did hear somebody write in a comment, too, as well, one of my videos. On one of my short clip videos I did. Uh, you take your first two packs off, off your left side and your first two packs on your right side. And supposedly, within these packs are your secret rares or better. So we're going to open those last four packs last just to see if it's true or not. First pack of the box. Gadget Gamer. Gamer. Punk Jam Extreme Session. Life Extreme. And we have an Ultimate Slayer. Awesome. So I guess that trick is not really... <laughs> I mean, you never know. It could be true. I'll, uh, at the end of the video, I will go over the pretty top picks that I got out of this. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Give me something good. We have a Terraments. Terraments. Sprite Pixies. I do have three more of these booster boxes too as well. I'm hoping to get a Starlight. That is my thing, but... Okay, and we have Wings of Resonant Life. It's hard to see the name because of the the gold, goldish color. I am going to sleeve this because I don't think I've seen that on the TCG player. Price-wise, unless it's a pretty undervalued card. We have the Flame Buddy. He's one of the most common ones in the set. Life Extreme. Rika Kon Kon again. Okay, and we have an Albaz. I really feel like Albaz is a pretty overrated deck to my opinion, but still really good cards. We have a Vin Vindred Scavenger, pretty cool artwork. But I really just felt like they, I, I felt like they pushed the Albaz cards this year. They were just like just trying to slam it in people's throats, like yeah, get it, get it, get it. But that's just a personal opinion. We are halfway through. And we have it is that the hollow? Oh yeah, it is the Exo Sister again. Got a sprite red. But it's not the Sprite Blue. We have a Loris, Lady of Lament. First time pulling her. 
So I'm guessing the first two cards on each, each first two packs on each side is actually pretty true. Okay, we have an Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. I absolutely love this card. Who doesn't like their Elemental Heroes? I believe I have a playset of him now. Punk Dram, Dragon Drive. Scatter Fusion. Okay, and we have a Scarecrow Light Heart. That's a pretty hard card to pull. Check that little dude out. Got a big old head on her. Crosskeeper, the most distant. Okay, we have an engaged Neospace. Sprite Carrot. Power Tool, Braver Dragon. I pulled a couple of him in my short clips as well. All right, let me get this box out of the way. These were the first, the top two packs on both sides. Hopefully there's something really good. We have an Emperor count. That is, it's like they just made just like a random artwork. Just like, yeah, throw that in there. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh man. What is going on? I pulled another Sprite Blue. Holy cow. Whoa. I'm not even going to set this down. Second time pulling Sprite Blue. First one's out of the blisters, now out of the booster box. Holy cow. So I wonder what's in these first two packs that Simply and a couple of people were talking about. Could there be a Starlight? Okay, we have a favorite contact I have no idea the value of this card either next pack secret go the math mac circular so I guess that was wrong about the first two packs. We have an ice jade and light of the gaudy. Grotty. And the last pack of destiny. Can it be? And we have a Sprite Jet. I was wondering why I haven't pulled him yet. So, that being said, that just shows that that was wrong. You pull the first two packs on both sides, that doesn't mean anything. It might have worked for him on his display boxes that he gets, but not for everybody. 
So, a recap. Of course, number one, we pulled the Sprite Blue Ultimate Slayer Exo Sister Martha Instant Contact and let it focus Lightheart and then Rings of Resonant Life and then Favorite Contact. Huh. That's weird. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's bleed through. It's kind of all over the card. It's all, It's right here. And it goes up and over. So I wonder if that would be considered a misprint. Since it's a bleed through. I don't know. I'll have to get people's opinion on that. But I don't think any of these other ones are like that. But anyways. <clears throat> appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to be entered into uh, the new giveaway. It will be announced in my next video. I'll be doing another booster box opening. It will not be Power of the Elements. I am going to try to mix it up to where. Since I got a few more boxes of these to do a different booster box and then do another power of the elements box or whatever but thank you for watching thanks for the support and also my email will be in the description uh if you guys would like to get on to my mystery cards uh it's nothing extremely valuable that i send out but it's just cards for free that i will send out uh viva envelope to my random subscribers just to help them build decks, do whatever, finish binders, and so forth. Just shoot me an email with your name, YouTube name, see if, so I can see if you're a subscriber or not, and your address, and I will send you some cards out. But thank you for watching.